Wii Sports is a game we all grew up on. It's simple family fun. If you were anything like me, you'd spend hours playing baseball. Whether you were good or not, I'm sure you've hit at least one home run. Today I'm going to focus on how good the Mies are from Wii Sports. It's obvious that Mies have unreal power, but is it better than anyone who's ever lived? To showcase, here is a 1,154 foot home run. The number doesn't even fit on the screen, and as you may have guessed, it's not real. So what's the real record? This is the furthest one I was able to find. It was from Zach Curry on YouTube, and it's at 675 feet. This is still an unreal number, not even to mention that the meat doesn't even break a sweat. Now for the real players. What's the furthest home run ever hit? During the StatCast era, the most reliable tracking system for home runs, this 505 foot shot by Nomar Mazzara is the furthest one on record. 505 feet is nothing compared to our knees. So let's take a look at some home run derbies. They aren't too much better than Mazzara's mark of 505, with Juan Soto having a 520 foot blast at the 2021 home run derby. Still though, it's good enough to add to our list. Let's turn back the clocks and look at some pre-StatCast numbers. These aren't as accurate, but include the best hitters from before 2016. For home run derbies, it's not too much better than what we already have. But here is a 524 foot home run by Sammy Sosa in the 2002 home run derby. This lands Sammy Sosa on our list as the pre-StatCast home run derby distance champion. Going way back, we could take a look at Babe Ruth, who supposedly hit a 587-foot home run. This was over 100 years ago, so for all we know, it was measured by someone's actual foot. Luckily for us, historians Bill Jenkins, Tim Reed, and crew investigated the true distance of this home run in celebration of its 100th anniversary. They went through all accounts of the home run from the day it was hit, and even went to the field to verify that the ball was hit 552 feet and 8 inches. There are tons of stories of Babe Ruth home runs, but since this was the only one that historians had looked at recently, I'm gonna stick with it. Due to Ruth's home run being remeasured, the furthest home run I could find in MLB history was from fellow Yankee Mickey Mantle. On April 17th, 1953, Mantle hit the home run known as the tape measure home run. It was 565 feet and went out of Griffith Stadium. This puts Mickey Mantle on our list with the furthest home run ever hit in a major league game. Again, this is an old story, so we don't know how accurate it really is, but it was reported by the Baseball Hall of Fame, so it does carry some merit. We can still look further. The furthest verified professional home run came from a random Hawaiian dude named Joey Meyer. He had 18 home runs in the major leagues and a negative 0.1 career war, which means he was below average. None of that mattered in this moment in 1987 when he hit a 582 foot home run while playing for the AAA Denver Zyphers. Joey Meyer is put on our list with the furthest ever home run hit by man. This also means that no man has ever gotten close to our me. YouTuber and known smart person Smarter Every Day made a robot that finally gives our Mies some competition. He made a machine called the Mad Batter, which is pretty much just a machine that spins a bat over 200 miles per hour in the perfect way to hit a home run. While it was incredibly inconsistent, it ended up hitting a ball 696 feet, 21 feet further than any me. This is the closest competition to our Mies, and it is a machine engineered to hit a ball as far as possible. So this is our final list of furthest home runs ever hit. So now that we know that Mies are the greatest hitters to ever live, what about the rest of their game? Besides, baseball is not just hitting. So let's take a look at their speed. Luckily for me, someone has already wondered the same question, and they did the math. Cubero one on Reddit explains how assuming the bases are at a major league distance in the Wii Sports Stadium, Mies run at a speed of 43.7 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, the fastest active major league player, Corbin Carroll, runs at an average speed of just below 21 miles per hour. Mies are more than twice as fast. How about outside of baseball? Let's take a look at Usain Bolt, the fastest man ever. 
His top speed was 23.4 miles per hour. This is more than 20 miles per hour slower than our Mies. It seems like Mies are the greatest athletic specimen to ever exist. Alright, well there's also pitching. Are they better two-way players than Shohei Otani or Babe Ruth? How good are Mies at pitching? Well, they have a four-pitch arsenal containing a fastball, topping out at about 95 miles per hour, a curveball, a screwball, and a splitter, which all top out at about 86 miles per hour. This splitter seems more like a knuckleball, as it almost doesn't even spin. Every pitch can be thrown as slow as 60 miles per hour with great effectiveness. This is due to their arm slot not changing no matter what pitch and what speed. It's unlike any other pitcher in the majors. This is an overlay of a 94 mile per hour fastball and a 60 mile per hour screwball. It's unreal. The pitcher throws exactly the same on a 34 mile per hour difference. Major league hitters would be swinging out of their shoes for this nasty stuff. The break on the pitches is also crazy. Here's a screwball and a curveball overlaid, and they go in complete opposite directions. I haven't even mentioned that the Mii pitchers can also throw a sidearm and have the same results as their normal pitching motion. The Mies can change their style mid at bat. So move over Nestor Cortez, you've got a little bit of competition. The pitchers may not have the best velocity, but from everything that I've seen, I think that these pitchers would do very well in Major League Baseball. They would definitely be a better two-way player than Shohei Otani. So far, we have seen that Mies have historic power, speed, and pitching abilities. Clearly, they are greater than anyone we have ever seen and they're better than a literal hitting machine. There has to be some sort of flaw in their game, and this made me take a look at their fielding. I watched this hour and 20 minute long video of someone going from zero skill level to champion in Wii Sports Baseball. I found that in 113 error opportunities throughout the video, the Mies made four errors, which actually isn't too bad. From what I was able to find, in the major leagues, the rate of errors on balls put on play was about 2.25%. The Mies in this video committed an error on balls put on play 3.54% of the time. I wanted to get a bigger sample size than this, so I decided to play some Wii Sports Baseball myself. In the games that I played, there were 49 opportunities for an error and 5 errors, which is not good at all. This is over 10% of all balls put into play turning into errors. Combining everything that I saw from in the video and what I've done, the error percentage was 5.55%. So the me fielders are only half as good as major league players. I also have to mention the terrible routes the Mies take to the balls and the amount of routine balls that get past them. Now that I've gone over all facets of the Mies game, I can conclude that Mies are some of the greatest athletes of all time. I would have them play DH in Major League games due to their fielding abilities, and this isn't too different from Shohei Otani, who has only played 20 career innings in the field besides when he pitches. This means that their fielding wouldn't really affect them. No one would be able to compare to our Mies. If you've made it to this part of the video, I just want to thank you. I've worked hard in this video and can't wait to make more. Everything that I referenced in this video can be found in the description. And if you have any suggestions for this channel, let me know in the comments.